Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Wednesday, the 24th of July. The historic abuse and neglect of New Zealanders in the care of the state and faith institutions has been branded a national disgrace. Survivors have marched to Parliament this afternoon carrying a banner with ribbons bearing the names of those who endured abuse. The final Royal Commission of Inquiry report nearly six years in the making has just been released. Children, young people and adults were exposed to extreme physical, emotional and sexual abuse, severe exploitation and neglect. Here's political reporter Demelza Jackson. An estimated 200,000 people between 1950 and 2019 out of 655,000 in care were abused. The report says survivors lost life enjoyment, education and employment opportunities at a social cost estimated as up to $217 billion. The report calls for sweeping and significant apologies from the Crown, the Pope, the Archbishop of Canterbury and other religious bodies. Prime Minister Chris Luxon has thanked the survivors for their strength, courage and confronting honesty in coming forward. I cannot take away your pain, but I can tell you this. Today you are heard and you are believed. A public apology will be made at Parliament in November. Luxon has formally acknowledged, for the first time, young people at Lake Alice Hospital were tortured. Patients at Lake Alice were given electric shocks without anaesthetic, as well as painful and immobilising peraldehyde injections, not administered for medical reasons. Minister overseeing the Crown response, Erica Stanford, says stories in the report give a jolt of reality. The kinds of unimaginable, despicable horrors and abuse and neglect in care that we always believed happened in other countries happened here at scale and they destroyed lives. To other news, Hawke's Bay Regional Council says challenges lie ahead on managing and planning for floods. A review's found major failings in planning for events like Cyclone Gabrielle. It found flood risk was underestimated, with new housing built in at-risk places and historic large floods not included in analysis. Council Chair Hini Y. Ormsby says it shines a light on what improvements are needed. For me, what's very striking is that the way that we have done things in the past is not fit for purpose for the future. An Auckland businessman's due in court today, accused of importing 133 vehicles with falsified documents. Customs allege a 36-year-old man imported vehicles with understated odometer readings and other false information. He's charged with knowingly importing prohibited goods. In sport, long-serving All-Whites coach Ricky Herbert has slammed Canada's drone filming tactics on a football ferns training at the Paris Olympics, saying a resort to spying is unfathomable. New Zealand has been forecast to drop five places from Tokyo and finish 18th on the medal table at the Olympic Games in Paris, with the United States expected to be top dog for an eighth successive time. And Warriors captain Mitch Barnett admits losing goal-kicking centre Adam Pompey with a knee injury for four to six weeks is another major blow as the Wars bid to salvage a top eight NRL finish. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.